Hi guys, it's James. And Tara. And Rose. <laughs> and uh, we just got done watching uh, probably one of the best animated adaptations of a video game I've ever th I ever thought I could ever see in my life. Castlevania on Netflix. <laughs> I'm going through nostalgia feels right now. I'm going to explain. Castlevania is one of my favorite games. Not just see, yeah, Rose knows. Uh, not not just Symphony of the Night. Castlevania. I am so deep in the lore, it's ridiculous. Um. So before we get get going any further monkey butt why don't you tell them what we're gonna do <laughs> that, that way <laughs> yes hi peoples <laughs> spoilers okay I want first someone who's not so attached to the lore to talk a little bit about it Tara, you don't know the lore like I know the lore, which I know the lore. Um, why don't you talk a little bit about uh, the series as a whole? The because it's only four episodes right now. Oh, well, for me, as somebody that hasn't played the game and just seen the anime, it seemed to be pretty good, and there were some funny moments and. I'm sure that you'll point those out. I will. I actually wrote a list of things on each episode, which was awesome. On my, I'm gonna nerd out for a second. On my neighbor Totoro notebook. That's right. I am actually a weeb. Hi. So you thought it was pretty good. Yeah. Tell me a little bit about your experience with it and what you felt. Not really much of anything. It was a new anime for me, so... Okay, so... All in all, it was pretty good, though? Yeah. Um, if you had to rank it one out of five, what would you rank it? I wouldn't... I don't really know all that. <laughs> okay, that's fair. So, I want to talk a little bit about... Each episode, little by little, we'll reminisce a little bit about it. First thing I have to say about the series as a whole is it is the adaptation of Castlevania 3 in one go. And they added some lore from Castlevania Symphony of the Night and some of the other Castlevanias and kind of like meshed this really awesome thing. Uh, one of the things I said about it was it was it reminded me the animation reminded me of Aeon Flux meets Spawn on a honeymoon in Japan. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> Monkey. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> oh, oh. Anyway. Um but the first episode I thought was really really touching as a matter of fact. The second I saw Lisa and Vlad talking, I was like, oh, that's Lisa. And I, I think I think I was trying my best to not go on this like lore tirade with uh, with my wife and Chris because Chris was like in and out and doing other things and running errands and stuff, so he didn't watch it with us. And Seth was unavailable tonight because of a concert, but it was Tara and I watching the series and the second I saw Lisa, I was like, oh, 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 I already know where this series is going. This is going to be bad. <laughs> like, oh, and it just hit me right in the nostalgia feels to see the chemistry between the two characters. I was like, oh, I know what's going to happen. And they literally did, I mean, they did one scene of buildup, and I thought it was pretty good buildup. And I have to say this about the first episode. You could tell they were struggling to fill airtime because I think they could have done more with Lisa and Vlad's relationship 
we know that she was going to get burned at the stake. It was a thing. Um, it, we knew, and seeing Alucard and Vlad and Lisa in the, in the episode was like, holy crap, that was awesome. And yes, I'm looking, I'm looking at the notes. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. There goes my phone. <laughs> but, um... That, that was my one complaint because Lisa was burning for a very long time and I felt like they were trying to fill airtime as if off a of manga which I don't think that was what they were adapting any of this off of um, I have a monkey on my shoulder but, uh, n yeah but those are mine feel fortunate that you don't need oh boy oh no no no, no! <laughs> <laughs> I, I have such a hard time telling my daughter no because she's so adorable holy christmas um any thoughts on episode one for you not really i think mine kind of started at episode two okay yeah um so yeah pros was the uh the relationship building between that whole sepesh family and then the cons were why are you filling or trying to fill so much airtime up? Um, so episode two, one quote comes to mind. You haven't got your shovel. We meet Trevor right at the end of episode one. And uh, at the end of episode one, we get this very colorful description of a shepherd finding a guy laying with one of his sheep. So you hit him across the eyes with a shovel. Yeah. You haven't got your shovel. And that's when I started to really like see some world building going on is in episode two and three. And I felt like, okay, we're in, like, especially, like, some of the way people were talking, like, oh, well, if you go to the town at sunset, blah, 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 I'm like, you're an NPC! And <laughs> that's when I was like, oh, my good gravy. We're, we're watching Castlevania 3 unfold. When he fought the two priests... Yes. <laughs> Finger. Eyeball. Out. That was so awesome. That whip is gnarly. Gnarl sauce. Ugh. Hi, monkey. Can you wave at the camera? No. Okay. <laughs> 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 so, um, episode three. Um... Trevor was just awesome. He just, he, he spoke his mind, and he was being convinced by the speakers. The sayers. Um, oh, here she comes. She's a little baby, and she's coming to get you. Oh, here she comes. She's a little baby, and she's coming to get you. Oh, and I felt like that was good to see the relationship of the characters start to really blossom in episode three because in episode four it was just out downright pandemonium until you get to Alucard and then it's even more pandemonium. Yeah, I would have to, uh, Cyclops. Okay, yeah, that was so freaking cool <laughs> to see the Cyclops. Like, oh, and he's dead. Oh, that was so good. Um, I do want to say one thing about episode four. Uh, goth Metal Jesus. That's that's how I felt about Alucard. Um, coming out of his coffin the way it was. That steampunk style stone coffin. Like, oh, that is so cool. Yeah, big old smile. Um, so all in all... I, I give this a four out of five 
And the reason why it doesn't get that thumb is because that guy was missing his index finger. I am kidding. That's not why. Um, the reason why it gets a 4 out of 5 from me is because there was a ton of buildup in those four episodes. And we didn't get to see um, more. I felt like those four episodes were an introductory into the world and into the characters. And even though it was an introductory into the world and into the characters, I feel like there should have been more introductory on some of the characters. Obviously, Alucard doesn't need an introductory, but uh, Cypher, Slifer, oh my goodness. It's been a long time since I've played. Uh, I felt like her, like her culture got a really good like makeover and we got to know her culture and her background a little better but I feel like we could have known the characters more and also where's Grant where's the thief Grant I want to see him climbing up ceilings and walls throwing knives down at stuff but maybe we'll get him in season two or maybe they're only gonna focus on the three characters I don't know uh -huh. hi baby how are you yeah that's you that's you. But I'm really hoping for a season two, and I'm really hoping for an eight season episode, because that'll be awesome. Tara? I'm looking forward to more. And how, how, how do you rate it four out of five, or five out of five fingers? I wouldn't be able to tell you right now. Okay. So, out of five fingers, we're missing an index. Stay tuned, there's more to come with Brain Gandy Productions, and uh, we'll keep reviewing popular anime and nerdy movies. Let us know how you like the new format. We're trying something really different and new, and my daughter's trying to fall asleep on my shoulder, and it's really cute. Um, oh, whoa, okay. Hi, monkey. Whoa. And uh, we love you guys, and uh, we'll, we'll see you soon. Uh, and there she goes.